This is a Robert Johnson tribute guitar. I have a pink. So on the front is uh, the Robert Johnson in the cross row. So, um, God deal with the devil to guard his uh, music talent from the legend. So this this is what I original design. So, the cross row will be extend to the pick up and on the corner and here and the tree. The tree is about the movie scene. This movie scene and the tree is symbolized. So this is all finished, except there's a tree I haven't uh, painted yet. So right now I'm gonna do paint the, the tree on here. Right now I close up to the tree, to the, to this corner. So I can show you. So I like to address the other painting, so the sound of the front is uh, more, uh, how to say, more not fine tuning, but more, got more free hand bus so Also, the, the red here is uh, more, you can see the water, water flowing. So it's got kind of more, the details in the face. So the detail is more in the face and the other part. So here is a will be just symbolized uh, and then remind the people of the movie. So this is on the fun, it's a Rob Johnson tribute thinking I found on the fun. And uh, here's a while I testing for the uh, pencil drawing on the wood and the uh, matte finish. So kind of tell you can tell this part is a little bit darker. I think the map finish so it doesn't change the wood much. The map thing. So I make a coat and uh, I will make a keko on this. Yeah. So it's in the front is the Rob Johnson painting. Uh, on the back is the uh, Chabrika, the jazz pair. So this kind this guitar is a kind of tribute to the jazz and the blue, the early jazz and blue. Two characters uh, on my eyes, I kind of uh, got a kind of sadness on the face, uh, kind of tragedy on uh, the face. Uh, okay. So now here is uh, I got a recess of the hill drum. So there's a little bit burn of the wood when I send it, use the tool, how to the sanding. So right now I need to. Uh, a little bit more sandy. The guitar after I put on a, a coat of the Mac transparency uh, light up, uh, it's become a little bit dull and a little bit darker. Color, even the wood is dark a little bit. So I go to uh, put a little bit more highlight on the drawing to uh, make uh, the drawing more uh, visible and more pop up.
Mm -hmm. all these uh, bubble dogs in here. So this is a pickup I try to use on this guitar. Actually, this uh, pickup inspired me to uh, start a concert for the, this whole guitar because this is a uh, roller bowler pickup. It's a kind of a special pickup that have uh, our big magnet and uh, it's a kind of a uh, reproduced uh, Ritzbeck classical pickup that's kind of a jingly tone so I have tried this pickup on different guitar body and I found uh, this kind of elder body is uh, very suitable and also because I got this elder body quite a long time ago so I and also I found the sound is very traditional like a kind of for me, it's more like a, a old school uh, bluesy tone and also uh, a little bit jazz tone. Anyway, a kind of old school 30s uh, blue guitar song. So I pin the uh, Rob Johnson triple guitar. So I will put this on the bridge picker. And uh, you can see it's a very strange shape because on the Rebecca is uh, put on the surface of the uh, guitar and uh, they are bridges and they'll be very high. So for this one, it's, uh, I need to use on the underneath the uh, bridge. So I order this uh, pickup from Walnut uh, without cutting the bridge. So I will cut myself. Also, if I can see my from my previous design concept, I will put a Robert Johnson figure on here. So it look like he is walking down the crossroad. So I will put this pickup as far back as possible. So there's a more room here, so I can put the figure. So to put this picker uh, more far back, I need to uh, make here to touch this line. So this can be moved far back as far as, as back as possible. So this around in the middle is be around touching this two handbagging line. So I just draw a two line. So. Show you this pickup kind of wear size so it doesn't fit in the P90, a little bit bigger than the P90 on both the width and the length. So it's a wear pickup. Previously, I just uh, cut out this uh, swap uh, Terry pickup on the hair so I temporarily fix on the another outer body to test out the sound. So here's the highway street switch. 
So I, I attempt to uh, put these color, this color hole on this pickup here. So let me show you how I try to remove the hook. So first of all, I need to uh, drill some hole to uh, make it easy to uh, remove the hook here. Use this uh, blender tool. Then uh, I will remove the dust and the paint this with uh, lacquer so it prevent the wood get more moisture. This is a uh, 3D figure. I uh, 
fitting out to become a kind of a relief dodger here. So this one is uh, maybe too big. This size. This size may be okay. And uh, the smaller size. This size may be a little bit smaller. I try to fit this. Maybe this angle is better. I also pinch this. This is a thick cut a pen to use on the bridge size. So the mean here is the space I can use. The bigger one is uh, I think it's, uh, it's okay to put here. So to put this in the bridge, I draw a cat file. So this is uh, this picker. So I'm gonna to, uh, cut this template to screw on the here so I can cut out the guitar pickup rolling up here. make it a more accurate position I'm gonna to cut out these two uh, single core and the bridge to uh, align more accurate I want to make some texture over this two line for, for a kind of row things. <laughs>
I covered the pick up with the uh, uh, paper, which is not touching the surface, so when I spray paint it, it will not be a pure line. So I want to pin, uh, pin something uh, protecting a clear coat to protect the, the painting, and I'm uh, using uh, this semi uh, fat clear to uh, cover the, the painting part. This is a Bola pickup from Lola. It's uh, made for a kind of a Rickebacker guitar, that kind of guitar pickup. I just want to try it, and uh, this uh, apparently is work best for the uh, elder body. So let's put on the pickup. for the side. So uh, this guitar actually I want to put all kind of special signature for the, for the guitar. And uh, for the next pickup it's a uh, kind of very special one. It's uh, about the refectory. So and made from uh, some kind of small uh, factory coming with this kind of package. Uh, kind of uh, go for with the uh, liquor paint. So this is how it look. Got not enough space from here to put the uh, pick inside. So I need to uh, draw down a little bit more. Pair all the wire connection together and uh, a little bit. This will connect on the, the, the two wire from the single wire from the uh, input jet or so easy to connect to here. It's a detachable, so it's a very easy for me to install this and maybe take a part again. This is how it look after a second coat of the semi gauze uh, transparent tint on surface. And uh, the semi gauze make it, uh, the color is popping more. I sand a little bit before I apply the color. So, especially on the edge. So, because the wood grain is uh, popping out, especially the wood grain on this direction. Uh, give a little bit roughness on the side, especially on the painting side. It's a little bit, uh, if you run your finger through, it's a little bit rough because uh, the roughness on the surface will be uh, popping out a little bit. Need a little bit sanding on the surface to make it more flattened. 
apply another coat of the care care coat. So I use the uh, 400 grit. Just the error without the painting can be sanding a little bit, uh, not so carefully. But the error, the air, just give a very slightly sanding. This will be use very soft sanding. So the doesn't damage the painting. So only sending a little bit of the surface of the coating. And use some paper towel to uh, wiping away the the bus of the sanding. Very gently lighting, light sanding. This uh, liquid wall side can be sanding more hard. Then we can give it another coat of uh, semi gauss coating. This is how it look after shooting. You can see the reflection is quite thin, like that. And uh, right now when you run the finger on it, it doesn't feel rough anymore. But it's still quite thin. You see the reflection of the oil. You can still see a little bit of the wood wood way. You see the wood grain, but uh, the artworks are also popping out a little bit more. Overall, it's, uh, it's a finish. I'm not quite happy about it. This is how it looks after a uh, second coating. You can see here uh, the much more transparency and the color is popping a little bit more when you drive it will be a little bit more sun uh, semi glossy eh? and uh, more easy to see the painting See the elder wood is a little bit darker, a little bit brownish, and there is a chapeka, and it's all drawn by the kind of watercolor thin layer. So every brush is count, no mistake can be made, uh, no color pencil can be hiding or. Adjust the, the mistake. So all is uh, brush by brush, uh, transparency uh, kind of what color. It's actually drawn by the acrylic kind of what color. This side is the rubber dressing trivia on this side. And this is a lightweight uh, elder. If you believe in the tone, you can feel the knocking on the It's the uh, extra lines powder. And I can show you another. It's the Starry Night Winston one called. It's also elder body. If I'm knocking on this one. So it's not so. Cool. The sound is not so 
loud and uh, it's a little bit damping. This is very cheap. Elder body is a kind of a ninety nine dollar elder body. I don't know where they made. A mystical fan so it's a ninety nine dollar. And this one is uh, I think it's around two hundred nearly three hundred dollars something. It's a two piece construction I think. Yeah, it's a drawing in the middle here. Two piece construction I think it's that don't don't need to be three dollars uh three three hundred. It's around two hundred thirty or two hundred forty something. I pin the string tree, a kind of a champagne gold, it's uh, matching the color of the wood. So it should be quite good for the color. Try to hammer it in. I can use the hot glue to uh, seal the hair. This can be uh, to prevent the uh, wire to be shortened when touching the ceiling. Also, prevent it to be uh, losing. So afterward, I just join the uh, wire to the spool up, so it's easy to get the uh, open up. <coughs> now we're building the tone pad. For the pickup, I use uh, these pointy things to make a mark first. When I align the first one, this one needs to be uh, quite precise, even the both sides. So I usually do this the whole first. I, uh, when I align it, I push it on mark and I drill a pilot hole. And I will uh, put a screw on here first, then to do the other corner, so it will be a lot more uh, easily. I will change to the black screw later on, because I don't have the black screw right now. I need to cut the uh, next screw shorter to uh, accommodate this uh, special made heel joint so, because uh, each screw is different thing. So to measure it, I need to know how deep the uh, screw can go into the neck so uh, measure it this way so that means this can go into around 12mm so I need to cut the screw to around 11 or 10mm so I'm going to this this one I already cut I measure it this one is uh, 10 around 10 is ok this one This one should be here. It's around 
so thin, so this one little bit cut, little bit shorter. So I already testing the guitar uh, with the coronet. Maybe I'm gonna do experimental try a uh, rose bonnet. Maybe the sound is a more a little bit more darker because right now the wood is dry too much, so the, the song is too points. Also, I testing this picker. It's a GoPro single core, and uh, I like it. So I gonna need to uh, paint this part, the golden part, black to matching this part. So what I do is uh, get some uh, acetone to uh, wiping this part, so it's more easy to get the painting on it. It's just painting this part black, so I don't want to, don't need to remove it. So let's see this part. It's a uh, finished painting. Pick up. This time it should be uh, got enough black. Got a tiny color, a little bit on the side, as you can see, it's a little bit gold. I don't really I touch it by hand. So this tie is put on it. So those who want have any thing about it. So it's uh, I hope this tie will be. Uh, I'm going to start trying to soak this wood. Soak this Thank you. 